yes guys welcome back to the channel today it's going to be um a video where i'm talking about the recent news that's happened in the last um hour or so um Aberdeen manager stephen glass has been sacked after our uh, cup defeat to motherwell um it was about time it, it had to happen you know glass just didn't work out and um, it, it it was never going to work out it seemed like Rafa Benitez and Everton, it wasn't going to work out, and uh, that's why the sack should have happened earlier, in my opinion. But his tactics were wrong, and the way he played was wrong. Nothing worked out, and that's why Aberdeen, excuse me, Aberdeen have sacked him. Now it says here, um, Aberdeen sacked manager Stephen Glass following Scottish Cup exit, while Alan Johnson, uh, the Queen of Sith manager, also left the club as well. And we only spent eleven months um, at, in charge of Aberdeen. And it's actually shocking. And then, you know, it's saying here that Aberdeen surrendered a lead at Fir Park to, to, to their fourth defeat in five games, which is actually shocking. And he'd been... It's, this is sort of the time where um, uh, McInnes left. Well, obviously McInnes left in March, but this is February. But um, actually, I think it's sort out that position. Uh, yeah, that's better. Um, so yeah, um, sorry, I had to sort out the camera there. Um, he's also, um, left, so Alan Russell as well has left, and so has Henry Apalu. Um, it's at, so we've, we've still got Brown, which is good to see, because honestly, I, I would cry if we never got Scott Brown. Um, but here's another thing from, which is quite interesting. Um, Scott Brown wanted for Aberdeen. Oh, what's that? Um, Scott Brown wanted for Aberdeen interim coaching role. Steam Glass Law Edison looms. Um, so basically, Aberdeen are wanting uh, Scott Brown to be the interim coach. So with that, he must be the interim player manager, or would we play Brown in midfield? I don't know. But I wouldn't say pl I wouldn't say do that because maybe just actually do something um so it says here that it, don's legend neil simpson is to step up and take charge of the side in short term following the sacking so neil simpson will be the manager of aberdeen until we find a new manager or scott brown takes that job um the six-year-old is currently pathways manager at the club racement of decade um and barry robson will step up from his own role with the youth assistant from, with the use to assist Simpson with Alan Russell. So it's now um basically what it is is Aber so Neil Simpson will take charge of Aberdeen until a new manager is found. Um but actually when I'm looking at it there's actually something here that says Lewis Bergson targeted by Aberdeen fans as he reacts to exploitive filled abuse. Um so basically, what I'm hearing there is that after the game, when um, all the players were walking back, um, Aberdeen fans must have abused Ferguson, like booing at him, and then he's reacted to it. So yeah, that doesn't sound good. Um, Neil Simpson, I've never seen him manage. Obviously, he's an absolute Aberdeen legend, but I wonder how he'll do at Aberdeen. Um, hopefully, he's better than Stephen Glass, but I honestly, I can. Aberdeen are just going to go further downhill from here. I could honestly, I could even see us in a relegation battle because we technically we, we could you could even say we are in a relegation battle. And but thankfully, one win against St Johnson, we're back up to the top six, which is good news. But can we even beat St Johnson at this rate? I don't think we can. But if but I wonder if Neil Simpson. And I wonder if Neil Simpson turned into like a ragnet, sorry, not a ragnet, a carrick. Because obviously, you know, when Man United sacked um, Solskjaer, Carrick kept in, and he, Carrick actually did a good job. I wonder if Neil Simpson could be the same. But then we, because I, I don't want us doing like Man United's pitting a ragnet. But I could honestly think if Neil Simpson does a good enough job in the next few games, we could just keep him for the rest of the season. Him and Scott Brown and Barry Robson as well could actually do pretty well. Now, put what you, I want you guys to put what you think in the comments of this sacking. Obviously, 
it was needed, glass didn't work out. But what I want you guys to know is how do you think Neil Simpson will get on? Personally, I think he'll get on not too bad. But I've never seen him manage a team. He probably has managed like maybe a League 2 team or something. Or like a Highland League or a Lowland League. But um, obviously, Glass um, and Brown, Brown. Glass was the only reason that Brown came to Aberdeen. But well, the fact is, I, honestly, I wouldn't have been surprised if Brown left Aberdeen. But I don't think he's going to leave because he's been enjoying his time here. And the fans now, honestly, as Aberdeen fans, we everyone used to hate Scott Brown. But now everyone still hates him. But it's Aberdeen Celtic who love him, not just Celtic who love him. Because Celt- I think Celtic still love Scott Brown. I mean, he may have left, but I can remember like in the Tannoy, um, like when he's the magic when the guy said Captain Scott Brown. I swear I heard like some Celtic fans like clapping. So, I mean, it still shows they've got something in there. Still got something there for Scott Brown. Um, as I said, he only spent 11 months in charge, which is actually a bit shocking, really. Obviously, McInnes, he spent seven... Was it seven years? I don't know, but he came in and won us League Cup. But, you know... What Aberdeen need is a manager that is consistent and a manager that's got good tactics, knows his formations... And actually signs good enough players. Now, I'm not saying that Glass has signed bad players. He has actually signed some solid players. He's not... There's not been... Like, Ramirez has been a good signing. Jack Gerber's disgraceful. Jenks has been fantastic. Um, Who else you got? Jet... Well, Jet's been all right. But he's not been... He's not been particularly good. He's only scored one goal. And it was a pretty good goal, though. Um, He signed Paul Vara, who we haven't seen yet. I wonder if he'll get a game in St. Johnson. I don't know if he can get played yet. Um, we, Adam Montgomery as well as a good sign. He trusted the youth. He trusted Mackenzie and Ramsey in that fullback position. Now, there's not, there's obviously a lot of negatives about Scott, about Stephen Glass, but I want to talk about the positives. And there is actually quite a few positives because we started the season well. We thought, okay, this could be a, a good beginning to a good future ahead of us. And then it just went downhill. Um, like, he trusted Ramsey and McKenzie to be... Because, obviously, McInnes played... Uh, not McInnes. Um, obviously, at the end of the season, 2020-2021, uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, Glass played them. He did play McKenzie and Ramsey. And he had full trust in them. If it wasn't for Stephen Glass, then Calvin Ramsey and Jack McKenzie might not have been the big picture in it. Like... Mackenzie, no, sorry, not Mackenzie, uh, Ramsey might not have been linked with Man United, might not have been linked with Leicester, might not have been linked with Bologna, Frankfurt, Leeds. He might not have been linked with all these clubs if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for Stephen Glass. He signed Ramirez, brilliant signing, 15 goals this season in all competitions, uh, 10 in the Prem. Signed Jenks as well, brilliant signing. bissouin has been a great signing. Montgomery's been, I would say Montgomery's been pretty good because I've actually been quite impressed by Montgomery in the Livingston game and the uh, Motherwell game. He actually played quite well. So there are quite a few positives about Stephen Glass, but it's when you think of positives, it's more about the only positives there are signings. Well, Ra- Mackenzie and Ramsey aren't signings, but like him trusting the youth and signings is like the only good things that I can talk about Stephen Glass because. His playing style wasn't right. His formation, his tactics were terrible. I would say there was another thing. He did handle well when we got injuries. He handled that well. But I just didn't think he was... He wasn't good enough for the job. And I wonder, he wonder where he could go now. Queen of the South have just lost their manager. I wonder if he'll go there. Um, You could never, you could even see that happening. Alan Johnson got sacked by Queen of the South. You could, you could even see that. And you could see him going to another Scottish team or I'm going back to America. Well, I wonder what you guys think. Do you just be like a, a a free agent manager? Or do you think um, he might go somewhere? I want you guys to put that down in the comments. But um, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um wonder where I'm going to go from now. That's another manager out, that's another manager out the window. Like, what is going to happen? I really hope 
the because honestly, last season we had we thought all right, we got glass, could have a glimmer of hope here, then it all went to nothing. Let's hope we don't get like a we need a manager with experience with good formations, good tactics. Honestly, I'm just going to quickly go through. Um, actually, I'm not going to end the video there. I'm going to go through uh, some of the people who I want to be manager. And um, the main one is Jim Goodwin. I want Jim Goodwin. He's a fantastic manager. He's doing so well at St Mirren. I'm sure that would maybe make Jim McGrath sign for Aberdeen if Jim Goodwin's the manager. I would very much like him at Aberdeen. Um, I'm sure. I, I hope I'm. I hope I'm not the only one who says that, because honestly, I think that Jim Goodwin could be a fantastic replacement for Stephen Glass. Obviously, it will be similar. Um, it will be similar. Um, also, the options to when McInnes got sacked. So it will be as I said, it'll be similar options. Like Goodwin was an option, even Neil Lennon. But at the same time, it ruined the Ojo song. But that Coutinho song for Aston Villa, Aberdeen can definitely use that for Ojo. And losing a song, or it could even be he loves Neil Lennon. Well, that's probably not like that. That's actually a bit odd. Um, but honestly, I would take Neil Lennon. Scott Brennan's in the team. We've got Johnny Hayes, two former Celtic players. Well, I don't know if Adam Montgomery had any things with Neil Lennon. He probably did. So, three Celtic players in there. Well, former Celtic players. Well, one current, but on loan. Neil Lennon could work with that. And I think Neil Lennon would actually be a good manager. I know he's a manager of Celtic, but you know what? I would take Neil Lennon. I'd say Jim Goodman and Neil Lennon are my top two who I want in Aberdeen. Anyway, I want you guys, if you want, you can maybe put what you think, or maybe any Aberdeen fans out there, any of your um, top candidates for, can, candidates for the Aberdeen job. Anyway, obviously we've got Neil Simpson currently, but who do you guys want? And at manager for Aberdeen. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you soon for another video on my channel.